everybody, it's Disney Queen Skelly here. So have you ever had a dream or even a nightmare about like a place you work or like a place you like to go? Because I just had a dream or a nightmare last night about Disneyland. Could you believe that? I'm dreaming Disney. Basically, the dream went like, well, the nightmare went like this from what I can remember. And I really wanted to share it to you guys because I don't remember the last time I had a Disneyland dream. So, dream started out at Starbucks Land. The, the canal boat. And I got an assignment with my friend CJ to go help with the parades. And I was like, okay. So I walked over to where we were supposed to meet up with our, I guess our lead. And they had walked us into Small World, but while we were walking there, they told us that, okay, before I even get any further, have any of you guys been to Universal Studios Horror Nights or um, Not Scary Farm? Basically, if you haven't, um, they have what are called mazes. So basically, um, they take like a, a central theme and put it in like a certain and put it in an area like an indoor area um and add like monsters and jump scares and stuff so basically that's a maze like you basically walk through a set path that tells a story and you have like people trying to scare you well every year disneyland or disney california adventure has a halloween-esque party but because it's Disney, you know, obviously, they're not going to make it horror. Like, they're not going to make it scary. They're going to make it fun for the kids. So, in my dream, apparently, we were actually going to have two mazes. I'm like, okay, well, unless they're going to be family friendly, I don't understand how they can do a maze <clears throat> at Disneyland. So, what they ended up doing was they ended up um, taking apart part of Small World, like, towards the back. I don't even know, like, where I could pinpoint this in terms of the actual ride itself. <laughs> All I know is it looked like a back area with, like, a bunch of, like, snow. So, I'm assuming it was maybe the Arctic area? I don't know. But, anyway, so it was back there. And all I remember is we looked off to our left, and it's like someone put on, okay, again, I'm going to sidetrack. If you guys have been on Matterhorn recently, or even in the past, you know what Harold looks like, that, that big-ass Yeti. It's like someone skinned it and just put the outfit on, and it was terrifying. I mean, thankfully, that's all I remembered. But, like, can you imagine a Disneyland horror maze where all it is is, like, Matterhorn? I mean, I don't know about you, but I think that'd actually be pretty freaky. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go in there knowing Harold's going to jump out at me every five seconds. It's bad enough I can't go on the Matterhorn in general. Like, I can ride it, sure, but I can't open my eyes. I can't. I have to keep my ears plugged, too, because my, my hearing is so sensitive. But it was just the weirdest thing. Like, I don't know why I thought of it. I might have ended up sleeping to, like, a Simpsons Street House of Horror thing, and then it just <laughs> launched into my head. But whatever the case maybe. thanks for listening to my weird nightmare dream Disneyland sequence, whatever. And the reason why it says part one is because you never know there might be a part two. Who knows? Hopefully not. But if there is, you guys are definitely going to hear about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, little skeletons. Stay safe.